All right, my ninja, what did you guys think? What did you guys think of the DJI Osmo Action 4? I know y'all saw it. If you didn't see the last video, go watch that video and then come back to this one. I was able to actually look at the footage, go through it all, play with the camera a bit, and I, I gotta say, it is pretty good. But it does have some flaws, though. Okay, my ninjas, let's go over these pros. And ooh, actually, I'm actually really, really hot. All right, now, much better. Now, first things first, let's talk about DJI. Because I don't want people pulling up in the comments thinking that this is a diss track. Pimpin', this ain't a diss track. I love, I'm a huge fan of DJI. They make amazing drones, amazing cameras, amazing action cameras, and don't, don't even forget the pocket game, pocket game. Holla at a player. Like, I have legit bought every action camera that they had, every pocket camera that they had, and I bought like four different drones. The only reason I don't rock drones today is because I live in the Netherlands and it's it's tough to fly a drone here. Don't hate the player, don't hate the player. Hate the game. But with that said, that doesn't mean that they can't get no smoke. Look, y'all know how it is, everybody can get it. So now that we got that cleared up, let's go ahead and start off with the pros because again, this is actually a pretty, like it's, it's a good camera. And I'm gonna go ahead and have to say that the first pro has to be the image quality because the image quality is a noticeably different. In the day, pimping, in the day. Image quality definitely gets a plus. It is different. You can, It's not like a huge difference, but when I compared it to some of my Action 2 footage and my Action 3 footage, there is a difference. The dynamic range is great. So the sensor, the bigger sensor, definitely, definitely helps. Boss. The color straight out of camera look good. The dynamic range, I know I already said it, but yeah, it's, it's noticeably good. Image quality overall is a plus in the day and in, in the day. The next pro is the addition of added control, meaning now you can adjust sharpness and a couple other things that, I'm gonna be real, I don't even know what it means, but the sharpness is the biggest one because straight out of camera, it does look a bit too sharp. So if I were to do like an entire vlog review, I would definitely bump the sharpness down to at least minus one. And I know that this is something that GoPro has offered for like years. I mean, it's been forever since GoPro's offered this, but it's really nice to see that DJI wasn't like prideful enough to just go ahead and just do the same thing. Cause I've been, I've been complaining about this for years. So I am so happy that they added this feature. The next problem I have to say is the audio. Cause I was really shocked. Like for a second, I almost thought I had to scrap the whole video cause it was so windy here. It, it wasn't even funny. And it actually held up really, really well. Look, my ninjas, I didn't use any external mics. I didn't use a wind muff, which I almost thought about doing, but nope, I was like, you gotta use it straight out of the box. And again, it held up, even on a crazy, crazy windy day. So audio is a plus. And then speaking of audio, I do have to add the pro of them allowing us to use any external mic that we won't pimp because I ain't gonna lie, part of me thought that they were gonna take that feature away in the Osmo Action 4. I don't know why, but a part of me thought about it because I've been seeing things being taken away a lot lately. Sony ZV-E1 Mark II. <coughs> I'm glad that they kept that with the DJI Osmo Action 4. So yeah, you can still use any external mic that you want. And now the next pro has to be the battery life because again, the battery life is solid. It is still really, really good and reliable. And then the last pro for the DJI Osmo Action 4 would have to be the responsiveness and overall usability of the camera. Like my ninja, they keep bringing the sauce when it comes to this department. Whoever works on like just the overall usability of the camera, you like pimp, pimp. Y'all need to give y'all need to give him a promotion because he is killing the game for y'all. <laughs> it's like only funny because it's true. Like it is, it stands out so much from the competition. Like it really is a, just a reliable camera that works. See, before we get into the cons, Pippin, I gotta say, I know it's a lot of y'all who watch the videos are not subscribed. And Pippin, we are so close. We're just close to 10K. So if you're finding some value, if you like my sauce, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Also hit that bell too, cause you a boss. No, but for real though, for real, we are so close to 10K. So definitely hit that subscribe button and also hit that like button. <laughs> now, let's get into these cons. <laughs> and I'm gonna have to go ahead and say low light image is definitely a con for me because for some reason when you're shooting in low light for some reason it's doing this weird like ghosting effect and i don't know 
why it's doing that. And I've tried it in both modes. I've tried it in the low light enhancement turned on, and I tried it turned off, and I'm still getting the exact same ghosting. So I don't know why that is. And it's different from like the the regular motion blur that you usually get on these action cameras. It's a little different. It's more, it's literally like it's like ghosting. And Pimmin, that is a big con for me because I was going into this thinking that the low light capability, I mean, at least from the promo, was gonna be amazing. The next item I have to say is, I, I've said it was a pro too as well, but it is a con as well, and that is the battery life. Because although this lasts longer than the GoPro Hero 11 or any of the other GoPros, I don't think it lasts longer than the DJI Osmo Action 3. And pimping, that's a bit weird, but also it makes sense because you have a bigger sensor, and again, the camera looks exactly the same. Like, yeah, it has a couple of internal differences, the sensor being one of them, but that's about it. So, with the more power taken up from the sensor, yeah, you're, you're seeing a battery drop. And it's not bad, but it's definitely not like when I tested out the DJI Osmo Action 3. Like, that thing just, that was just amazing. But with this, yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's not, yeah, the DJI Osmo Action 3 definitely has better battery life. And now, the next time I'm gonna have this call out is the minimal focus distance, because although, again, it is completely in focus, this is not like the DJI Osmo Action 3 at all. And it's definitely not like the Inst360 one inch mod. Like, it is definitely in focus, but yeah, you gotta, you gotta put it a ways, and you kinda gotta figure it out, because yeah, I could, I could not figure it out, but there was a shot that made me close to figuring out where it, it looked, it looked good. But then, when I was holding it, I felt like I did not hold it out far enough. But it is in focus. I want to make that clear. It is in focus. Thank goodness. <laughs> All right, and now my next con is also a personal one too as well, and that is image quality. Now, even though that was a pro, it's a con because even with a bigger sensor, the image quality is not as good as a GoPro. At the end of the day, I'm just being real. It is, it's not. I mean, yeah, it's, it's not. The image quality is just not good enough. I mean, that's, it's just plain and simple. And now it's not terribly noticeable, but it is noticeable, especially when it comes to like exposure. And now, yeah, GoPro definitely has better image quality, but I will have to say that DJI does have, the, like the, the footage looks better. Like it looks like it's from an actual camera versus like an action cam. And GoPro has always had that kind of weird look versus DJI has always had that look of like an actual camera. And with that said too, in my opinion, DJI has better colors. It's just that GoPro does have better image quality. And with all the technology that DJI has, it just seems like they played it a bit safe when it came to the DJI Action 4. Like it just, they could have, they could have really brought the sauce with it. And yeah, it seems like they just played it safe. And then my last con would have to be the price because I think, uh, I'm guessing it's because, you know, everybody's in a recession. I'm guessing that's the reason why it's $399 now versus when it came out, it was $329 for the DJI Osmo Action 3. But yeah, I think it's a bit high considering you can still get the DJI Osmo Action 3, like a good one, one in focus, for $329. Like, <laughs> and then you can get it even, you can get it used. And it's not that much of a difference between image quality. Again, like, it's definitely better, but it's, it's not by much. So I'm, I'm a bit confused with the pricing because when comparing it to the price of the Osmo Action 3, I think it's too expensive. Bye guys. And now my ninjas again, this was not a diss track on the DJI Osmo Action 4. Y'all know how it is, I ain't a hater, my hood never let me be a hater. Overall, the DJI Osmo Action 4 is a solid camera and it is good. And I'm gonna say it again, don't go out rushing to buy this thing. Just feel it out a bit, give it some time, let us figure out all the issues, kind of like that low light ghosting issue. Let us figure out all that stuff and then decide if you wanna cop it. Because again, the DJI Osmo Action 3, is good and it's a lot cheaper, especially if you get it used. And if you already have the DJI Osmo Action 3, then yeah, you don't need the Action 4. I'm just, I'm just super saying. But yeah, DJI, great job with the DJI Osmo Action 4. Those are my thoughts. Hopefully you guys can fix those things. Overall, again, solid, solid camera. I am actually really happy with it. I kind of wish you guys had focused on like, 
the action two some more. Like I'm telling y'all, the action two is still my favorite. I'm just being real. I'm just keeping it real. But at the same time, I understand the decision for not remaking this camera. I just, I'm just saying it is, it is a really, really good care. But yeah, Pimpin, thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. Emphasis on the subscribe, because we at 10K, we getting 10K. We almost there. This close. But yeah, thanks again for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found some value in it. And also, down below, let me know what you guys think of the DJI Osmo Action 4. And also, be on the lookout for the GoPro Hero 12, because there were some leaks and man, if the leaks are real, DJI might have a problem. <laughs> Thanks again for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. <laughs> man, I hope that noise isn't like, <laughs> I hope I don't have to move somewhere else. Uh, oh man, that's actually a uh, medical helicopter. I hope everybody's okay, because it looked like he's about to touch down right across the street <laughs> like yeah you might have to airlift somebody out so i hope everybody's okay <laughs>